Hello, hello, hello. It's Becky Pike Puth with the Bob Pike Group. And today we are sharing another Creative Training Techniques uh, podcast with you. And today we're focusing in on leadership. Of course, like leadership is like the most broad topic out there. But today I want to look at self-management. As we are more and more working kind of in a silo by ourselves, some of us working from home still. And even if we are in the office, maybe only half of us are in the office. And it really is this self-contained world we're living in. And how do we manage ourselves and become leaders in our own realm, right, as we work with other people? Now, in some cases, this is going to be a brand new skill. In other cases, you can perform some of these ideas really well. But I want to give you eight different areas to focus in on for yourself, like self-development, right? Don't we all love to like improve ourselves? So that's what this is all about, transforming your leadership skills. All right. So the first area to look at is how you control your attention to focus right now. So in the present every day, how do you put yourself into a focused present state? And now you can, if you want to go along as you listen to these and take out a little piece of paper and score yourself on a scale of one to 10 or one to five, whatever's easiest for you, both will work. Um, but just kind of give yourself a little bit of a score, one being on the low end, five or 10 being on the high end. So how, how do you you rate yourself when it comes to controlling your attention, your focus to really just be present in the moment. That's one area of, you know, where you could manage yourself and really be a leader. Another one is making sure that we are aware of not only what's going on in our world, but what's going on in the business world. We could call this uh, creating, you know, awareness, centering ourselves and really looking at, hey, not just myself, duh, but what's going on around me? You know, I listen to others to hear, oh, they might be stressed in this area. I can lead by helping or assisting or sharing or working together. So kind of centering yourself. A third area to look at is really values, your values. What do you identify, prioritize, live within? At the Bob Pike Group, we have our values. And one of the things a good leader is, is number one, you know what your company values are. So I have given our team five, we call it ice TP, like, you know, ice eating ice and then TP like toilet paper. It helps us to remember. So ours are integrity, creativity, excellence, teamwork, and positive attitude. And those are the areas that we really want as a company to take our time to really focus in and lead in. Well, you need to know what your organization or your company, what are the values and do you identify with them? Do you prioritize that within your everyday work life? If not, how could you improve on that? Of course, another one is planning. This comes down to project planning. Uh, it could even be just intentional life planning, making sure that you're getting things done before you go on vacation or organizing your schedule so that you meet timelines or deadlines. So that's really planning your life around not just yourself, but others. So as I lead, I need to you know, lead by example, of course. So what am I doing? Uh, I just went on vacation. I made sure that all my handouts were to my, the person that designs and develops, you know, creates them. Because when I got back from vacation, she went on vacation. So it's not really fair for me to like be, oh, I'll create all mine while you're on vacation. And then you get back and you have an inbox, like 300 emails full. Another area to focus on is your stress management. I know right now it's been a little bit stressful for some of us, but it is important for us to really effectively manage our stress in a day-to-day -day situation. So for me, I might need to get massages. Doesn't that sound fabulous in reality? How often do I do it? No. Um, I drink a lot more water um, because it helps to reduce kind of some of that 
anxiety and or stress that's in your neck and your shoulders and just being aware, maybe doing some exercises, things like that. So how are you managing your stress? And then a The final area that I want to um, share about our health practices, you know, there's a joke out there, you know, freshman, freshman 15, when you were in college, you gained the freshman 15. Well, we call it the COVID-19. And many of us have gained more than 19 pounds, but we really need to think about our health practices. Are you, as a, as you lead through just quietly, you're leading yourself and you're showing and modeling to others, are you getting in that nutrition, your exercise, your relaxation, a lot of sleep, those kinds of things. So these are just a few areas where you can look at how can I lead from within my silo, lead myself to be a great role model, which then in turn helps to lead others is what we're really looking at. So thank you for listening to this Creative Training Techniques podcast. We will see you next Friday.